Hey guys, this is Anjivid with another tutorial about setting up and creating vendors profile in QuickBooks Desktop. Well, as business owners, we buy products and services from people we call vendors. And it's important to add our vendors into our accounting system so that we can keep track of every business activity we do with them. So, in this tutorial, we will see whether how we can set up and create vendors profile in QuickBooks Desktop. Well, before adding vendors profile, it's a good idea to define whether what type of vendors we are buying products and services from, and what would be the payment method and terms. So, to set up these things, click on list menu and select vendor type list. Well, QuickBooks has already added a few types here, and if you are okay with them, just leave it as it is. And if you need to add more, just select new under vendors type and write your vendor type and click on OK. Here you can see that a new vendor type has been added to the list. Moreover, if you want, you can even create a subtype of your vendor type. And if you want to keep your list concise, then either delete or inactive the ones you don't use. So instead of deleting, I'm making them inactive. Just double click on the one you want to inactive and check this checkbox and click on OK. It will hide the vendor type from the list. Anyhow, whenever you want to use that vendor type again, just check this option which is including inactive and it will reveal the ones which have been inactivated. And then just click on the cross sign to reactivate them. Now to add payment terms, Select Terms List in the List menu. Well, a bunch of terms have already been added here. And I'm pretty much fine with them and not going to add one. But if you want, just click on Terms and select New and then add one. Now, to add payment method, go back to the List menu and select Payment Method List. And here you can see that a bunch of methods have already been added here too. And I'm pretty much fine with them too and not going to add one. But if you want, you sure can. Just click on the payment method and select new to add one. Well, we have set up a few things that will help us make better decisions in future relevant to the vendors. And now, let's add a vendor by going to the vendor center. Here you can see that there is no vendor added in the vendor center yet. And to add one, Click on the new vendor drop down and select new vendor. Here just fill the primary information about the vendor, like vendor name and if you have any existing balance with this vendor, just add that here. Then write his or her company name, phone, fax, email, website and addresses etc. Now click on the payment setting tab and here we can add the vendor's account number, payment terms, name that will be printed on the checks, credit limit, and billing rate levels which will be discussed in future tutorials. Now click on text setting tab and if your business volume has reached the point where you think that this vendor is now eligible for 1099 then check this checkbox and ask for text ID or social security number in case of sole proprietor to add here. Anyhow click on account setting tab and here you can select expenses accounts to pre-fill when you enter bills. You really don't have to select any account here, it's just for the convenience. Now click on the additional info tab and here we can select the vendor's type which we have set up earlier. Moreover, if you want to create some customized fields for this vendor, just click on this button and create one by filling these fields. Now go through the info again to make sure you have added all the required information and then just click on OK to create your first vendor profile. Now our vendor profile has been created and here is the snapshot of this vendor's information. Anyhow here we have some tabs related to this vendor. All the business transactions with this vendor will appear under transaction tab which we also can filter according to our need. And under Contacts tab, we can add primary and secondary contacts too. 
To add contacts, click on the Manage Contacts and select Add New. Here, just fill the concerned fields and after making it a primary or secondary contact in the Contact Type field, click on Save and Close button and if you want to create another one, then click on Save and New button. And to keep in touch with the vendor, it would be a good idea to create a to-do list about that vendor, whether it's about future projects or current ones. Just click on Manage To-Dos and create one by selecting Create New. Moreover, some certain nodes can also be created under Nodes tab. Anyhow, our vendor's profile has been created. And up next, we will see whether how we can edit inactive and or delete a vendor's profile. And I hope this will be helpful for someone out there and thanks for watching.